If you like making movies and recording videos with your digital camera, but your audio sounds like this, when you'd much rather it sound like this, make sure you stick around. Hi, Paul here from Photo Genius. Welcome to my channel where I post regular photography tutorials. I share tips and tricks. Occasionally I do gear reviews as well. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Now, regular viewers will know that most of my videos are all based around photography, taking still images. But recently I've had a lot of people asking me about making videos about making videos. So, this is for you guys. When recording videos, it's really important to make sure that your audio quality is the best possible. And for that reason, when I'm making my videos for YouTube, I use different microphones depending on uh, what I'm doing, where I am, what camera I'm using and so on. And later on in the video, I wanna share with you exactly what I use to create my videos here on YouTube. But a common problem that I hear from people is that they can't plug an external microphone into their camera. Some cameras have a mic input, so some cameras don't have a mic input, so then what do you do? Well, I've got a solution for you guys. Now I've just switched cameras. This is the Canon T7 1500D, a great camera. And as you can see, the image quality is pretty good, but the audio quality isn't great. And that's because this camera uses an internal microphone. There is sadly no option to plug in an external microphone with the T7. And unfortunately this means as I move further and further away from the camera, so the quality will get worse and worse. I've switched cameras once again. This now is the Nikon D3500. Again, it's a camera that I love. It's great for stills. You can do good video with it, but again, it relies on the internal microphone, which isn't great. And the same thing happens when I start moving away from the camera, the audio quality will go down. Okay, I've switched cameras once again, now using the Nikon Z6, which is the camera that I use to record all my videos here on YouTube. And as you can hear, the sound quality is fantastic. Furthermore, if I start moving away from the camera, the quality still sounds great. The audio is nice and clear and crispy, and that's because I'm using a wireless setup. Now, what I've got attached to the top of my jumper here is what is called a lavalier mic. There's a cable that runs down the inside of my jumper, and that is connected to this, the Rode Wireless Go. This is a transceiver that is sending a signal to a receiver on the top of the camera. This is a really cool setup. But of course, if you've got a Nikon D3500, a Canon T7 or a similar camera, you can't use this because you can't plug the receiver into the camera. But don't worry, I've got a solution for you. So once again, I've switched cameras. I'm back to using the Canon T7. I'm about 20 meters away from the camera, but as you can hear, the audio sounds fantastic. So how am I doing this when I can't plug in either a receiver or an external microphone into the Canon T7 camera? Well, it's pretty easy. I'm using a technique that they've been using in the movie industry for years, and that is, I'm recording the audio separately to the camera using an external device. What is that device, you may ask? It's my smartphone. I've connected the lavalier mic directly to the smartphone, so this is recording the audio whilst the camera records the visuals. All I've got to do now is merge the two together, or what we call sync the audio and video. I do this back home in the office. I'm gonna show you how it's done in just a moment. Pretty cool, huh? And if you're enjoying the content and would like to see more videos from me about gear, camera settings, and of course, tips for shooting great videos, please let me know in the comments section. So I'm now back in the office and all I've done so far is to get the audio files off my phone and get the video files off of the cameras and I've now imported them into a program called Adobe Premiere Pro which is a very popular program and the one that I use to edit my videos. Now we'll get into this in a moment. I'll show you how we're going to synchronize the audio with the video. Before that I just want to quickly go over the microphones that I use. Now I've already spoken about the lavalier mic which is the one that I use 
um, earlier in the video and I'm using right now. It's just here on my, on my shirt. Um, it's a great microphone because it's relatively affordable. It's not very expensive. It's small, it's discreet. The audio quality is really, really good. And this particular mic is made by a company called Rode. The SmartLav Plus is compatible with Apple iPhones, iOS devices, and most Android devices. If I'm using a camera with a mic input like the Z6, then I connect the lav mic to the Rode Wireless Go. This allows me to record my voice wirelessly up to 70 meters from the camera. The next microphone I want to talk about is this. This is called the Rode VideoMic Pro. Um, and by the way, this video is not in any way associated or sponsored by Rode. It's just that they're an Australian company that make great microphones being based in Australia. Um, they're pretty um, popular here. And uh, this, this is a great mic. This is the original, um, I think, um, VideoMic Pro. The new version is a lot slimmer and a lot smaller. This was the first proper microphone I brought. And in my early YouTube videos, all the audio was recorded with this mic. It is really good. I don't use it nearly as much now and that's because I really do like using the lavalier mic but this is a really good microphone if you're um, shooting outside. Um, it fits on the top of the camera on the hot shoe like so. There is a lead then so you can plug it into the camera um, and if you're shooting outside what you're um, recommended to do is to pop one of these on um, so if it's windy this will help get rid of that horrible wind noise and um, this um, is called a wind muff or, or a dead cat <laughs> no cats harmed in the making of this I believe um, and it's a great microphone but look again if you're if you're using a camera that doesn't have the mic input you can also plug this into a smartphone so it's a pretty versatile microphone the final mic I want to show you guys if I bring it into shot is this. This is the Rode NTB USB mic, which I have attached to a boom arm, uh, which makes it a bit more versatile because if I'm not using the mic, I can push it out of the way. Um, it doesn't come with the boom arm, that's an extra, but it does come with a desk stand. Now, um, the reason I have this mic is for voiceovers. Um, it's a great quality mic. The, the audio quality is really, really good. Um, but because it's a USB mic, it's actually connected to the computer directly. And this means when I'm doing voiceovers for my videos, I can actually record the voiceovers directly into Premiere Pro. So I'm not having to record on a separate device and then transfer the files across. And this saves me a heap of time. So I hope you enjoyed that quick overview of the microphones I use to record my videos. Now, as promised, for those of you that have a camera that doesn't have a mic input, I want to show you how you can record your audio separately to your video and then sync the two together using software. Now, I'm going to be demonstrating this in a program called Adobe Premiere Pro. It's very popular. There's other programs out there, of course, uh, such as iMovie, which is free on the Mac, and you should be able to do pretty much much exactly the same thing using those types of programs. Anyway, let's get stuck into it. So I've opened up Adobe Premiere Pro. If you're not familiar with this program, over to the bottom left, we have our media browser. So these are the um, video clips and audio clips that I recorded for the beginning of this video. As you can see, there's a lot of clips and that's because I do like to do two or three, sometimes more takes um, just to make sure I get things right. And there's a lot goes behind the scenes of making videos for YouTube. Um, 9652, this is the movie I'm going to open. So I'm going to open this clip here on the left. To do that, I'm going to double click. It will then open up in uh, what is called the source browser. So here I can browse my images at the bottom. Um, whichever file you choose to open up appears over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that down into my timeline. So this sequence is recorded using the Canon T7. And um, as we know now, the audio quality from this camera using the internal mic is pretty bad. Nice. What is that device, you may ask? It's my smartphone. So what I'm going to do now is open up the audio file that I recorded using the lavalier mic into the iPhone. So all I've got to do is go over to the media browser and look for this. It's Aquapark 7, so here it is. Double click on this to open it up and it opens up again in the source browser. And um, it's a waveform because this is an audio file and all I've got to do is now drag this and I'm going to place it underneath um, our existing file. Now if, I, if we zoom in a bit, you'll see um, if I enlarge the display, 
you'll see the waveforms from the audio and it's completely mismatched at the moment. So what I'm going to do is click M for mute to mute the audio from the video clip and play the video. So this is recording the audio whilst the camera records the visuals. All of and clearly you can see that the audio, which is in the in green from the iPhone recording is completely out of sync with the video. So now I'm going to show you how to synchronize these. All I've got to do is highlight the clips, control click on the mouse using my Mac. And from the menu, I'm going to choose synchronize. We then get a pop up box and we want to make sure that the audio button is uh, turned on. Now I'm going to click on OK. And after a few seconds, the audio is synced. Let's play back again. Audio whilst the camera records the visuals. Now you'll, you can see that the audios are synced because if you look at the peaks here, they are all lined up now. So now um, both audios are synchronized. I don't need the audio from the, um, from the video camera now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to lock the video, delete the audio file. I'll drag this one back up again. And, uh, and that's done. And that's how easy it is to sync audio and video separately in Premiere Pro. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and picked up some really cool tips. I don't normally make videos about making videos for this channel, but if you'd like to see more like this, let me know. Leave a comment below and give the video a thumbs up. If you've got any questions at all, you can post them in the comment section down below. If you want to see more videos from me, either about video making or photography, then please consider subscribing. Hope to see you again sometime soon. See ya. Bye.